Yeah, man, we're talking about, you see, talking about 30 years ago, man. So it's 30 years 30 ago. 30 years ago. That's, That's a amazing. question. What, what made you make that transition from, like, boxing to mixed martial arts? Ah, okay, so years passed, right? Right. And I had a lot of fun with Capoeira. I mean, look, if it wasn't for Capoeira, bro, I'd be like a lot of our homies that ended up locked up. Yeah. Yeah. Shot yeah. up. Yeah. Know? If it wasn't for Capoeira, Capoeira really saved my life. Got wow. It. It, it literally saved my life because in the time that everybody was fucking around the street, yeah. I would be training. You right. Be, yeah. you know, don't it. get me wrong. You're I still mastering the craft. No, of course. Right, 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 right. I wasn't always fucking Right, right. You had something yeah. to keep was, you, yeah. you know, I always wanted to train. Right. So, uh, you know, as time passed, Capoeira started dying out. Yeah. Florida, Capoeira was big back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Now yeah. you don't hear about Not it much, much right. you know, because like I told you, you, you know, a lot of fights were happening. Yeah. Where the whole gym, the whole group is fighting against the other group. Right, right. And then the calls and the police right, and all that. Right, right, and right, right. It started to die out. Right. And I'm a competitive man out of nature. Right. You know what I'm saying? And right. my, my trainers too. Of course. So I... I think this whole I think this whole room is full of competitors. Yeah, yeah, it's a <laughs> it feels very competitive. Like, I, don't fucking, right we're throwing, I don't care. We're throwing dice against the wall, motherfucker. I, I, I'm gonna catch that seven eight. Hey, my dice gonna land you right now. No, 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 I'm gonna catch that seven eight. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So with, with delay, it came to a point where I became a professor. Yeah. Right. I became a graduated professor, and we st we started to have differences. Okay. You know, I started I, once you become a professor, you start to you start like moving out of your home. Moving out of your back. Right. Right. That's right. I had you know got in my own team and. I seen things that when I would come visit with my own group, yeah, you know, I would see like he would be teaching new things because he's going to Brazil, picking right. up new things, coming back. Right, right. right. I never been to Brazil. Right, I right. speak fluent Portuguese. Right. Oh, really? I can speak right. to anybody. Fala aí, brasileiro. Fala aí. Back to square one, almost. Yeah. Like, okay, let me. So I went over there to to Mangos. He was a head security guard at Mangos. Okay. Right. It was, this is a fucking killer. Yeah. Right. Right. It was right. Nasty. Right. Oh, yeah. It was nasty. So I went over there and you know, uh, I told him, look, you know, I'm a professor and blah blah blah. Yeah. Tell the story. Yeah, okay, all right, give me that belt. Oh, shit. I said, oh, okay, here you go. Boom. You're trying to humble me down, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is uh, what belt you had before this. I was instructor, instructor professor, right? Yeah. yeah. I said, that shit took me years to get that shit. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Said, okay, uh, come on uh, next week on Monday so you can start training with us and bring you the other belt too. I was oh, shit. Okay, okay I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to wear my belt and yeah. I'm an instructor now, right? Yeah. Took that shit from me too. <laughs> oh, just like that. Yeah, just like that. And, yeah. and I uh, grabbed his Best student and took care of it. Took him out. <laughs> <laughs> he became. Did you get your belts back? <laughs> he became a very close friend of mine. Don't get me wrong, my brother. You know yeah, what yeah, yeah, yeah. Very close. We gonna be, but we had to fight it out. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Like I told right. you, I'm, I'm, if I if I get in something, I yeah. want to be the best, bro. That's right. That's right. right. You know. Right. That's right. right. And he was in my way, so you know, I you know, handle that. Yeah. Blah blah, and we became like brothers. Right. And it still took time to. But I didn't. I didn't have to get my instructor, and then you know, it took a little time. Like a year later, right. he gave me my professor belt. Nice. Yeah. And okay. that was that around the time like when the MMA was like really starting so to like years develop past after that, right? Okay. A couple of years, like a few more years passed and Capoeira's dying out. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, you know, I'm looking for that competitive, you know? Yeah. And then I seen um, my little homies that grew up in the hood too with us. Yeah. Brazilian kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they had they had left five years prior, they had left to Atlanta. Okay. And in those five years they were training jujitsu. I'd never done jujitsu right. before. Oh okay. shit. Right. So they go, you know, I started seeing them fighting and shit. I was like, man, you know. Yeah, I was pretty good. You know yeah, what I mean? I was, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I was like, man, I want to do that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was a little tired of, of you know, hurting my mom's. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I was fighting on the street a lot, man. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. In trouble. You know what I'm right, saying? Yeah, but yeah. You, you weren't as focused, right? Yeah. You were right, just focus, trying to right, still right. trying to find your way. The things that you mean, you know, how we Miami is not what it was back then. Yeah, yeah. Back then it was growing up in the '90s. though. listen, we could be here all day with the story. I can tell you about growing up in the '90s. You know what I'm saying? So there was a lot. There was a shitload of fighting going on. Yeah, yeah. So. I didn't want to, you know, hurt my mom like that no more. And then when I saw that this dude was doing it for money, I was like, man. So I go to Seth something. Hey, says, I man, I want to, I want to do that shit. I want to fight. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, well, if you want to do that, then you have to start with jujitsu. Right. Mm. So that's a humbling experience. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's an actual like skill of a fight. And, and, and right? That's like, like. And for people who are completely outside the fight game, like break that down. The difference between jujitsu right. and like, yeah. So nowadays, uh, people already kind of have an idea of what a striker is. It's right. A, a person that can strike, strike. boxing, right. Right. kickboxing, right. Muay Thai, yeah. right. blah blah blah. Right. So capoeira wise, I'm a striker. Yeah. yeah. And I was a street fighter. I had right. hands. Right? right. So when the time came, man, you know, it was like. Man, how how can I explain it? How can I make it simple? It was it was just it was in me, yeah. And and I wanted it bad. 
You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I say, you know what, man? Uh, okay, fuck it. I'll do it. So I went over to just a guy that he took me to. Mm-hmm. His name was Josh Parada, the just a guy. He, he fought in uh, UFC. Okay. It's almost yeah. like starting brand new. Yeah. Just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Exactly. That's, that's what I got to leave everything behind. That's just what go I in mean there. by a humbling spirit. Right, you yeah. got to go so in there and just be like... being a badass. A badass. Right? You go to another group and yeah. you're completely... Complete, complete. That's right. 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 You're, that's right. You're, you're, you're striking. You're a student. Nothing. No, that's right. Sure. That's right. You know. So that's what do I do? I go in there, and you know how I am. Yeah. I'm competitive. <laughs> right. And I'm getting tap, 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 tap. Yeah. I'm getting, bro, <laughs> I probably got tapped out at twenty times first day. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I'm yeah. not even exaggerating. Yeah. 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 Right. But you know, I, I was in this gym, in that group. And, and this is still in Miami. Yeah, Miami. Still Miami. Most people, most of them are Brazilians, right? And we're talking about like brown belts, black belts, like right, right, as high right. as you can get, right? Yeah. And they were getting ready to fight. But back in this days, we're talking about it fucking 20 something years ago. Yeah. yeah. Back then, it was like, you know, you can't go to a professional fight without being a black belt. Yeah. Oh, there was a okay. brown belt right. in, the, in the gym that was yeah. the, 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 the highest guy. Yeah. That, you know, it was the black belt was the, the trainer and, and the, the brown belt was the highest student yeah. that was getting ready to fight. He's been right. getting ready for years. So then when I pop out the mouth and be like, yeah, I want to fight, like, you know, in, in, in six <laughs> months. Right, right, right. <laughs> He's They're like, like what, what the fuck? Who's no, this I kid? Literally, I, I literally said six months. <laughs> oh, shit. They didn't believe me. Right. You know, they started laughing at me. Right. Shit. And little did they know that I know how to speak Portuguese. Right, right. I never right, spoke right. Portuguese to them. Right. Oh, shit. So you, know, you already know. They, oh, they're talking so they're saying all this. Not all this. They're yeah. saying that. But yeah. there were some people, they, I mean, like anybody, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, what yeah. What the fuck this guy think he is? I mean, it's not a bad thing. Right, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What this guy think? I've been training for years yeah, and we, he thinks he's going to go and fight. We would be right. doing the same thing, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jumping off the They're judging me because they're like, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever, you know. So I, and I then who we say, oh, jumping off the porch. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> off the porch. Yeah, just jumping off the ears. Yeah, for yeah. real. Huh? So, so uh, you, you've heard of George Masvidal, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Right. yeah. So yeah. George Masvidal Dude. was the first fight I ever saw live. Oh, yeah. really? So was that still in the backyard? Yeah. Back then, no, back. no, he had already fought. Oh, he already did MMA. the backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He was out of the yeah. backyard fighting MMA. Yeah, okay. So I go and I watch him. Man. You, real quick though, you beat him, right? We'll get to that. Yeah. I, I know we're gonna get to that, <laughs> but like you mentioned it, I'm like, wait a minute, like no. he, he's I supposed to, he's that's the that's baddest bad. motherfucker right yeah, now, right? He's got the butt, but my dog, my dog, we can't get a handcuff for that real quick. Can we free get a handcuff for that real quick? Come on, check out the full interview at revolverpodcast.com. Spotify, Amazon, iHeart, and on all other digital platforms.